Stanford University. Open Studios has become one of our favorite traditions here in the art department. It takes place at the end of every quarter. Students from all the different studio classes put the work that they've done during the quarter up on display. I wanted to do a diffusion of light that kind of took images from many Impressionist pieces and post-Impressionist pieces. And so what I have here is actually a series of LEDs behind this grid that's also covered in cotton and a t-shirt actually and glue to create a texture. And what that creates is this almost painting effect. I kind of wanted a catalog of all my printmaking. So I took photos of my prints and then scanned them in. Um, so I kind of wanted people to see them because they're kind of hard to all put in one spot because some of these are fairly large. I wanted the prints to be more hands-on and people could get a closer look because when, if I put these up on the wall, like how they're meant to be displayed, it would be a different kind of interaction and effect. I use the glazing technique, so you do lots of different glazes and layer them on top of each other to get the color at the bottom shining through the color at the top. And I chose it because you can get a more realistic look. It's a very important part of making art to have your work out in public. Exhibiting your work is a real professional experience. It takes it one step beyond the classroom. It kind of gives me a chance to show people what I've been, you know, hold away for for 50 hours. And this is one of the few times that I've actually had my work displayed. I'm always impressed by the students' enthusiasm and the amount of work they put into things. When the end of the quarter rolls around and then this show goes up on the wall and you see it all as a cumulative effort, you really feel proud. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.